Today, we are going to talk about ankles. Did you know that there are 26 bones, 33 joints, and over a hundred muscles, tendons, and ligaments here in our foot and ankle? They hold us up, they move us forward, and they keep us from falling over. So they deserve a little love. Stay tuned and I'll show you how. Hey fitness friends, welcome back to the channel. This week I have a requested video from both a photography client and a personal training client about strengthening ankles. And as you know, if you've been following me, I also am recovering from a sprained ankle. It's about 99.6%, almost there. I can pretty much do everything without any pain or inconvenience. So good thing. Now we have to strengthen now that we've rehabilitated. One caveat I wanna put out there, if you have an injury to your ankle, or any type of limitation, please check with your healthcare provider before doing any type of exercise. Make sure that it's the right thing for you, especially if you've had surgery or an injury. So once you're cleared for that, I'll show you some exercises today that you can do standing, walking around your house. You won't even break a sweat. These are great exercises to put into a warm up or cool down routine. Some things that you can do first thing in the morning or right before you go to bed to keep your ankles strong, which will in turn, because they're at the bottom, they'll improve our posture and improve our balance. For this workout, you're not gonna need any equipment. I do recommend that you do it at a place that's near a wall because some of these involve balance and we wanna make sure that we have a wall or a sturdy chair that you can hold on to, especially if you're a beginner with this type of thing. So grab those things and your water bottle, of course. We always wanna stay hydrated and let's get started. There's a bunch of different things we can do to strengthen our ankles and improve our balance. So we're gonna start with some of the easiest ones. And if you're a beginner, you can do these exercises or a lot of them seated as well. You can check out one of my previous videos where I do a seated version of this. Click the link up here and it'll take you right there. But let's get into some toe raises and heel raises. Again, staying near your wall or if you need a chair to balance, you can. Back up against the wall. We're gonna come up on our toes and down. If you don't need the wall, you can step away. This makes it a little more difficult. It's just up and down. You notice I am doing this barefooted. I'm gonna move over here a little bit so you can see better. You can certainly do this with shoes if you choose. I like to do it barefooted because that involves then my foot and my toes as well. We're going to do a set of 10. Again, if your balance isn't so good, position yourself near a wall or a chair. And one more. Now that was a movement called Plantar flexion, that's when you point your toe. If you're a ballet dancer, you'll know all about what that means. Now we're gonna do the other motion, which is dorsiflexion, which is where we pull our toes towards our shin. That works a whole nother set of muscles. For this one, let's start against the wall. Position yourself against the wall. You're gonna bring your toes up off the floor and down. If you're not feeling challenged at all here, step away from the wall a little bit. Get there if you need the balance. 
This is more difficult than the toe raise because it's something we generally don't do a lot of. Also may realize that you have tight calves. You'll feel it in your calves when you're doing this. set. Cool thing. We're going to put them together. So we're going to go toe, heel, toe, again if you need the wall, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel. A couple more sets here. Now your ankles should start feeling really warm, and that's a good thing, we want that. As with any of our other exercises, if you're feeling pain, stop. We need to reevaluate. Either the movement is not right or it's not right for you. Next thing we're going to do, and you notice we're doing all of these standing, we're gonna do first a toe walk. It come up on your toes. If you need to be by the wall for this, you can. And you're gonna walk across the room, staying up on your toes. Turn around, go back the other way. Heel walk. You notice you have to stick your tushy out a little bit to make this work. Again, I am barefoot, but feel free to use shoes if you feel more comfortable. Turn and walk back. Next up is an exercise called zigzag. And I learned this from Bob and Brad, two physical therapists that are also on YouTube. Make sure you check them out as well. This is a great exercise for getting lateral side to side movement on your ankles. So you're gonna put your feet together here, toes over, heels over, toes over, heels over. Again, if this causes you any discomfort, Stop, the other way, try not to look down, it's hard because you want to see where your feet are going, better posture if you look up. Last set of movements that we're going to do in today's video is a single leg hold. Again, chair or wall or countertop. I do this a lot when I'm waiting for my coffee in the morning. So you're gonna start on one leg, soft knee, soft ankle. Start by bringing the other foot up to your toe on the floor. Then when you're ready and you're balanced and your core is tight, reach the wall if you need to, you're gonna pick that leg up. Now make sure that your body doesn't move side to side or forward. Get that balance point. First starting out 10 to 15 seconds per leg. Down, switch legs. Get this foot stabilized, your knee soft, your ankle soft. You're up on your toe on this leg. When you feel like you're balanced, pick your leg up, rebalance yourself. Keep your core tight, upright and down. Reverse that. Do it one more time on each side. So we've got 
somewhere between 20 and 30 seconds per leg. If you've been doing yoga, you're probably really good at this. Switch legs, other side. And if you're really unstable, just kind of pick your toe up a little bit. You don't have to pick your leg up high like I did. Just pick it up a little bit so that you're forcing this leg to work especially the ankle area. And you'll notice my ankle is moving. So the next thing we're going to do in my next video, which will be more advanced ankle exercises, is we're going to destabilize that, destabilize that even more by doing single leg stands on a cushion. You won't want to miss that. So there you have a set of exercises that you can do every day to strengthen and rehabilitate and get more flexibility in your ankle joint. That will help you with balance and walking comfort and all kinds of things. Fall prevention, very important. So make sure you work those in to your workout this week. Thanks for joining me today for this video. Please subscribe to my channel that allows me to bring you more content like this that you, my viewers, have requested. And by the way, drop me comments. I use those comments every week to decide what I'm going to make for you guys in the upcoming weeks. So drop me comments, subscribe, hit the notification button, and most importantly, see you next time online.